Good morning, Hudson Valley. This is Roger Connor with your HVNN 2015 election wrap up. The campaigns are over, the votes have been counted, some will need to be recounted. In the aftermath of this year's election, the HVNN team will recap some of the key races, several of which are still undecided. But here's what we do know. Newburgh's Mayor Judy Kennedy has been re-elected for a second term. Just two months after losing the Democratic primary to Jonathan Jacobson, Kennedy has come back strong for a victory in the general election. Poughkeepsie will have a new mayor. He's a former cop and current county legislature chairman. His name is Rob Rollison, and Charlie Canaccio caught some of Rob's victory speech late last night. And Kingston will have a new mayor, Stephen Noble. HVNN's Paula Mitchell caught up with the new mayor last night with his family at his favorite pizzeria. So we're here at Tony's Pizzeria in Midtown Kingston where uh, Steve Noble uh, has just arrived. He has won the mayoral race for the city of Kingston. It's going to be the first order of business um, when you're sworn in, after sworn in. Sure. You know, I think one of the first things that we need to do is we need to work to uh, bring the city together. I pledged a One Things Two campaign where all voices are heard, and I think that's one of the things that we're going to focus on in our administration is making sure that all of our constituents can have their voices heard and that we are able to focus on some of the major issues that we have uh, facing Kingston. I think it's also important as a mayor to make sure that I have know and understand the lay of the land. Uh, I've worked for the city for a while, but I really want to be able to get to know the department heads and get to know exactly what our departments do for city residents, especially the departments that I'm not so familiar with. Steve, what do you think it was that resonated with voters the most? I think they like my professional attitude toward the city. I think that they see that my leadership experience bringing people together was something that we need here in the city. And I think that they really liked the positive campaign and the way I looked uh, toward the future for our city and be able to come up with some concrete plans and agendas that I showcased over the last six months. Well, that's going to do it here from Midtown Kingston at uh, Tony's Pizzeria, where Steve Noble has won the Kingston mayoral race. Several Dutchess County municipalities have races that are just too close to call right now. In the town of Wappinger, a three-way race for town supervisor has Democrat Greg Quinn with a slight lead over Republican Lori Java. Though incumbent Barbara Gutzler will be out of a job at the end of this year, the Republican bounced by her own party, staged a, an exceptionally remarkable writing campaign, gathering more than 1,100 votes. Ironically, Barbara Gutzler's strong showing 
split the Republican Party, giving Quinn the slight edge he has right now. Also in the too close to call category, Fishkill Supervisor Bob LaCola has a, has a slim lead over challenger Ozzie Albra. And Patricia Tompkins commands a seven vote lead over incumbent Lizette Hitzman in Unionvale. Now both Mike Hine and Mark Molinaro handily won their county executive races. Charlie Canaccio caught up with Molinaro late last night. Jablonski challenged you with the budget, with the new jails. That challenge, does that change your direction at all? No, not at all. I, I think that Dutchess County, over the last four years, we've been working to confront challenges and problems that have faced this community for years. We presented a very uh, optimistic, a very positive message to the taxpayers and the voters of this county, and I, I think that they embrace that. Uh, and I'm, I'm just truly humbled uh, by the support and look forward now to continuing our work. What do you think it says about the community that pretty much everybody was brought back into office? <laughs> Uh, I, I think that we have a good government in this county. We work together regardless of party. We work together to make a difference. And I think what taxpayers and voters saw is that we are willing to be an example in the state of New York, that we're willing to set aside differences and show that if we, if we just listen to one another, talk with one another, and seek to work together, we can, we can solve problems and confront challenges. I think that that's a model that Albany and Washington should pay attention to and was embraced by the taxpayers and voters of this county. I also thank your supporters and family tonight. What does it mean to see so many people here? Uh, this is overwhelming to see so many friends and family uh, out tonight. Uh, I just have been blessed by so many friends and so many supporters, and I have just a loving family. I, I just cannot tell you how humbling it is uh, to be here among so many uh, really, really terrific family and friends. Where are you going on your honeymoon? <laughs> I can't tell you. It's a secret, but our children are coming with us. <laughs> There were upsets and close calls and landslide victories in this year's elections. And you can find all the details at HVNN.com and on our HVNN Facebook page. But for today, I want to thank you for following along the campaign trail with us. And we want to leave you with one more interview that Charlie conducted last night with young Will Truitt. This 19-year-old won his first election and will be joining the Dutchess County Legislature. Have a good day, everybody. A stunning victory for you because of the fact of your age. I and mean, then you were an intern at the county office. Exactly. Um, I was 18 years old, you know, freshman year of college. Always been interested in politics, always interested in government, wanted to get involved. Figured county executive's office, Mark Molinero being a young politician, no better place to go to than that. Learned a lot from him, and it's all taken from there. I was told by everyone I didn't stand a chance at beating Rich. I was, I was told that this was going to be one of the most difficult elections to win in the legislature, but yet I came out on top, and it was a great race. I ran no negative ads, my opponent did, so it's a very nice feeling to come out on top. What do you think attributed to your win? It's really hard work. I met every single voter who's voted in at least two of the last four elections in my, in my district. That's what it takes. You can't just meet with one party. You have to meet with both sides of the aisle. Talk to Republicans, Democrats, Independents, everyone. Because you're not representing one party in there, you're representing both parties, all parties. You're representing every single individual in your district. So you need to meet with each and every one of them and talk to them about their concerns. And so that's what I did and I think that's really what helped. That smile's going to be with you for a while, huh? I always have a smile on my face, whether you know it or not. Bad times and good times, always have a smile.